Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to help a viewer who wrote to me and said, Danny, I have a client and I have a boss who either do not know how to use a pivot table or they refuse to use a pivot table. What they want me to do is they want me to create a summary report to summarize the sales by customer, by year, and by quarter. But then after I use the pivot table to get that summary, they want me to then convert the pivot table into a list that they can use to filter and subtotal it. All right, this is not an uncommon request. First off, let's take a look at the extent of our data. So let's hold down the control key and the down arrow to take me to the last record that has um, information in it. So we have 4,178 rows that we want to use a pivot table to turn into a summary by quarter and by year. With one cell selected in the data set, insert tab on the ribbon, and we want to insert a pivot table. In this case, I'm going to create the pivot table right here on the worksheet. So I'm going to select the button and I'm going to begin my pivot table right here. Okay, now remember that we want to have a summary by year and by quarter. So the first step is going to create that summary by year and by quarter. So I selected the date field over here and now I want to select a single date. On the Pivot Table Tools menu, I want to be in the Options, come over here into the Group, and I want to group the field. How do I want to group it? I want to group it by months, quarters, and years. Now remember, the request is to summarize it by year and by quarter, but we want to have the months for the quarters of a particular year in there. So let's click OK, and now we have our year, quarter, and month. Now, notice that beginning in Excel 2007, the default view for a pivot table is what's called the compact view. Since we're going to be filtering this out, what I want to do is I want to change this to the tabular report. So go to Pivot Table Tools Design. Over here in the layout from the report layouts, I don't want the new default compact. I want the tabular form. So now you see I have three discrete um, columns over here. Now I don't need the month, so the month was the original field called date, so I can just simply take that off the pivot table. We want to see a summary of the invoices, so we click that, and now we also want to see the customer, so let's add the customer in there. Now we want to rearrange this, we want to rearrange this, so we want to have actually the customer over here in the far left in the outer row. <laughs> Believe it or not, a simple way to do that is just begin typing in the field that you want in the position. So I want customer, and when I click OK, there you go, it got sorted automatically. Now, we also want to have another change. We want the years, according to the specs from our boss, to be over here as column labels. So we're fairly close to uh, our goal. There are two things that we need to do. Number one, we need to fill in these blanks. So a pivot table says, well, there's nothing there to summarize. I'm going to create a blank. So here's what we do. We go up here to Pivot Table Tools Options over here in the Pivot Table Options. We want to come down here for the empty cells show a zero. So rather than have it be blank, we want to put in a zero. Now remember that our end user, our boss, and our client are going to be filtering this. So what we want to do is we want to remove the subtotals and the grand totals. Easy to do. Pivot Table Tools Design for the subtotals, we want to say do not show the subtotals. So the subtotals have been removed and we also want to remove the grand total. So we want to say off for the rows and the columns. Now cosmetically we also want to make another change. We want to get rid of what is new in Excel 2007, new in Excel 2010. We want to get rid of these field headers. So those have now been removed. And finally let's remove the collapse and expand buttons. Okay, so now we're ready to proceed. We have our pivot table that has given us the information that we need. What we need to do now is make a copy of this. So I'm going to use Control A to select the entire pivot table and I'm going to right mouse click, say copy, and what I want to do is I'm going to create a new um, worksheet over here. So I'm going to insert a new worksheet, come over here, and I want to say not paste, but I want to say paste special 
and I want to paste the values only in there. So remember, before we had the pivot table, and these contain actual formulas in here. So when I copied it and pasted it over here into the new blank worksheet, I wanted to convert those over here into values. All right, a few more things to do. Let's delete this header up here, and let's add in the labels. This is the uh, customer, and this is the quarter. Okay, and let's finally make all of these bold. Control Shift, right arrow, Control B to make them bold. One final problem that we have over here is that we need to fill in these blanks. Now, of course, I could easily do the autofill to fill each one consecutively, but imagine if this were a much larger report. So let me show you how we can fill in those blanks very quickly with the formula. What I want to do is I want to make my selection. Now, of course, I could just drag down here, or I could have uh, chosen to select the entire column. Now, I want to bring up what's called the Go To Special. One way to do that is on the Home tab of the ribbon, come over here and Find and Select Go To Special. But I like to teach this keyboard shortcut. I like to say Control G, which brings up the Go To dialog box, and then here's where you find the Special tab. So click the Special, and I want to select the blanks. And when I click OK, now I have all of the blank cells in my range selected, and this is my active cell. My formula is going to be equals and the up arrow. In other words, what I want to be able to do is I want to fill in the blanks by the data that is in the row above. Now, instead of hitting Enter, which would only enter the formula here into A3, I want to enter it into my selection. So for that, I use Control Enter. And now I filled in all those blanks. But remember, these are still formulas. So once again, I'll use Control Shift Down Arrow to make my selection. I'm going to right mouse click, say copy, right mouse click and say paste special as the values, click OK, click escape to take it off the, uh, uh, the uh, clipboard, and now we have a list that can be filtered. So it, I can send this off to the client, can send this off to my boss, and they can filter to their heart's content. So if they want to go through and just find a particular customer and see the information, there it is. It's all set for them. So there you've learned how to first create a pivot table to give you something that would be very difficult to produce without a pivot table, meaning a summary by year and by quarter. And then I showed you how to strip away the elements that would not make a good list to be filtered or subtotaled. And then finally, after we copied and pasted the special values, I showed you how to use that formula, which was equal to the up arrow. And we went over here and we used the Control G for the go to special. We selected the blank cells to contain that formula. Use Control Enter, finally copied and paste. So there you see how you can convert a pivot table back into a list that can be filtered and subtotaled. And I'll see you in the next lesson.